What's up guys, Corbon Long here, bringing you guys another episode of our Pokemon Platinum Randomizing Nuzlocke. In the last episode, we went ahead and got ourselves into the Iron Island, pretty much done with it. But in this episode, we're going to finish it, and then we'll take on our sixth... Sixth gym. Let's see. Right? Yeah, six, right here. Let's go. Okay. And we will get a free encounter from Riley here. Um, I think we got the left side of this room taken care of, and this is the last room in Iron Island, so... Well, there's one more, but... Not as important. This is our last major room. Um, we got a few more trainers left on the right-hand side. Got those guys. We need to take on these two guys down here. If you missed the last episode, go ahead and check it out. It ended off with a crazy battle. Um... No spoilers, but you guys should watch it for yourselves. I really thought we were going to get swept, because um, we lost Riley very early on into the battle. Hopefully, oh this is, this is just two, so. The last battle was a battle of six, and Riley died, and none of their Pokemon had fainted yet, so it was just 1v6 in a double battle. I was getting hit by two Pokemon at the same time, the whole battle, but we didn't lose anybody. Um, crazy battle, you should definitely check it out. I don't have any ice type move. Um, he will probably focus the Perugly. Go ahead and just, just use my pure attack stat on Candy. He's D dancing. Thank you very much. Okay, attacks the Rayquaza. That's way better than I thought he was gonna do. Um, we'll use Stab Strength. He dances again. So if we don't kill him this turn, we're probably host. I hit the wrong Pokemon. We O-code it, though. Okay. Um, while that is good, not hitting the Rayquaza is bad. Neither one of us... Okay, D-danced a third time. But I do think we can kill it here. There we go. Okay. Um, that was scary. It could have... Easily took out our entire team. Um, but it may not have any attacking moves at this point. It should, though. It, I mean, we're almost to the level where you can catch it. Normally. No. You always get Rayquaza at 70? I forget. That Pokemon gets Blizzard. There were two of them. We're getting a lot of plates. No forks or spoons though. So I can't really use them. Um, hidden item right there for sure. Another old amber. Okay. We just got one of those last episode. I think this is our last battle up here. Can you not? I'm trying to do things. Oh, there's an item right there. Okay, we will have to backtrack a little bit. Okay, we got another 6v6, um, and another ice type. That sucks. Um, but it is not as bulky as Kyogre, and it has a quad weakness. So if it doesn't kill Nidoqueen here, we should be good. And it uses a dark type attack, so that helps even more. Um, oh, she pulls out the fighting move. 
this Weavile should be gone. Okay, very nice. Um, so I'll focus down the Azumarill. I'm personally not worried about it, but I don't want to lose Nidoqueen again, like turn one. Okay, yeah, I really gotta focus it. Altaria, not super scary, definitely bulky. If we both hit the Azumarill, then I think it goes down. Another Dragon Dancing Mon, okay. Please don't have Outrage. Well, Nidoqueen's gonna die here because... Oh, paralyzed it, but attacked the wrong Pokemon. Yep, okay. So, we're in a 1v5. Um, I am not worried about Bubble Beam as much as I am Dragon Dance. Okay, take out the Altaria. Probably gonna uh, just take care of the left-hand side, so it's a 1v1 situation, which is way better for me. Um, let's see what this last Pokemon is. Surskit. Okay. Definitely dies to a strength. If not, then it's got a folk expand. We're sturdy. Alright, neither one of those things happened. So, now we're in a 1v1 um, against Bubble Beam, so we definitely take this. Okay, we've got Flail, but I am not worried about that. I want damage I can count on. Got a Ray Dilly. I'm not really worried about my speed, so I'm gonna hammer arm it. Should do a decent amount. Very nice. Um, and then whatever comes in, uh, I'll either Take it down with candy, or I, I can switch at this point. I keep forgetting about things that have rock type moves. Um, and that's really screwing me over with Ho-Oh. Dang, I did not think I could Oko a wall rank. That is a th thick boy. Okay, um, so I need to backtrack a little bit to get this item in the bottom left. Um, start here. Oh, Beldum. I want a Metagross so bad. Metagross is probably my favorite Gen 3 Mon. Such a good, good Pokemon and good design. That was a waste of my time, but it could have been anything. That's kind of the point. What's the reason for coming back here? Is there a hidden item? That? So what is that? Two spaces below us. Well, that's cool. Didn't know there was an item there, but... Not useful. Okay, our last battle in this cave is coming up. Is it a mandatory double? Yeah, okay. 
I think we'll have to put one of our Pokemon away to come back and get the egg. Um, but that's not the end of the world. Got a rock type. It's finally not a legendary, but um Am I afraid of an onyx? I am gonna go ahead and switch to Gooper because he counters both of these Pokemon. Sorry about that. Earth Power should do a decent amount to on it. Dang. Why are these weaker? I feel like the other guys we've been fighting have been way stronger. Go ahead and stockpile. I am not worried about you. Cacturn, okay. I am worried about that. Um, I'm gonna switch to Mothra, quad effective on Cacturn, and resist Gulpin. Okay, Gulpin's definitely going down if Onyx went down. Send in another Cacturn, so I'm just like, not worried about this. Nido Queen's actually being useful in this fight, so very happy about that. Speed boost. Oh, Cyndaquil's got drizzle. Dang, two fire types getting shafted in this randomite. Okay, definitely not worried about Cyndaquil now. It could have better moves in a type lotion at this level, but with drizzle and lower stats. We should live anything it throws at us. And Earth Power should honestly take it down. So, very nice. I don't think we'll actually hatch the egg in this episode. I may start off uh, the next episode with the hatching, and I may be in front of the fossil place to get the old amber, because I don't remember what it is. I think we've already had Old Amber before, and now we've got two more, so... Um, it could be useful, it could, could be something we've already had. I don't remember. Um, and I'll probably go ahead and revive them both, just to see uh, what abilities we get, or what stats. Because uh, we can get a better nature on one than the other. And if it's a good Pokemon, then I may end up using one. I don't know. Funny enough, one of the shiny Pokemon I got in 4th generation was a shiny Anorith in, uh, I think it was either Platinum or Pearl. Don't remember which one I, but never would I have expected to get a shiny fossil. Uh, yeah, we do have to come back. Uh, that's sad. No shortcuts open up either, do they? Yeah, we got it completely backtrack. Okay, so I'm gonna definitely use the speed up for that. can't fly there. Lame.
Could have gotten a repel, if I'm honest. Couldn't have got that as my encounter. This didn't take near as long as I thought it was going to. Okay, now I do believe it's time to take on our sixth gym. Our box it's actually not bad. Like, we got Staraptor, potentially, Leafeon, Oliwrath. Jolteon's not bad. Potential Rhyperior. Armory's really good. Uh, Roserade. Manectric is fine. Sand Slash is fine. Waylord is fine. Uh, Floatzel is pretty dang good. Beyond's alright. It's not Manaphy. Uh, and Weavile's actually pretty good as well. If anything, if I was going to use Weavile, I'd probably get rid of Mothra, but I am standing Mothra super hard. Um, our death box makes me very sad because I would have loved to use Sunnyside and Natsu. Even Mirror B and Deb. Um, let me fix. I don't want to. Put new mons in death box. All right. Have good healing. Okay, steel type Pokemon. I'm sure that'll be the case. Starting off with a Doug Trio. Don't necessarily feel the need to switch on this one. I don't think he has anything for me. I'm gonna go ahead and battle everybody in here, because I don't remember which way to go anyway. So, I can just mess around. Water Psychic, I don't think it has any Ice-type moves, because it would have to be a TM. It does have Confuse Ray, which sucks, but... We can handle it. And I can always switch to Beep Beep if I need to. Uh, probably will do that because I don't feel like hitting myself. Alright, that's two trainers down. We are fighting another trainer which makes me feel like I'm going the right way. Why you gotta make me sad? It used double edge! Um, 
Wow, that's a lot of damage, and I don't think we're faster. If it crits, we die. It's 73... no, 63. So if it crits, we die. Uh, Earthquake is definitely stronger. So we die. Nice. We don't! Oh my god! Gooper, I love you! Oh, please kill. Gooper is, by far, a champion. I thought Gooper was gone. Oh, I'm so happy I love Gastrodon. That was unnecessarily difficult. Oop, not... Trainers tell me I'm going the right way. Okay. Well, that is a beefy Pokemon right there. I don't think it can really hit me for big damage, but... Also, I thought it would take more than three hits to kill it as well. But it looks like we're doing okay. I wish we had Crunch. Um, but Bite is still doing work. Got the flinch as well, so we're winning. Got a Luxray coming out. Um, don't think it has a grass type move again, um, but if it does, we could be absolutely hosed. I love Luxray. If you like 4th Gen, you probably like Ru Luxray as well. accidentally like go the right way the whole time um you've got nothing for me I know that much star raptor doesn't really have anything I'm concerned about close combat but we we take him down in one shot okay There are a lot of trainers in here. More than I remember. Um, that's poison and dark, so Zen Headbutt won't work, but Dragon Breath should still do decent damage. I really don't want to comment on the stance they chose to put this Pokemon in. Um, we all see it. It's disturbing. It's the crit. Um, I don't have anything that resists dark. Um, but I do have Candy. Who is gonna just absolutely stomp on any. Another Pokemon that's weak to my fighting move. So we hit the super effective button. And the win button. Ooh, Typhlosion, okay. Not one that typically gets a grass type move either. Um, where some fire types do. But we'll hit it with a surf. Fence curl is not gonna help you here. Could be a two co, but we may get a one shot. Ooh, very nice. Was not expecting to beat it in one shot. Ooh, 
with that, I think we are, yeah, we are at the gym leader. Um, so I'm gonna make sure I'm all healed up, and then be... go ahead and do this thing. I'm gonna use our last two regular potion. On Gooper, and Beep Beep. What you think? Byron, the dad of Rourke. What are you actually called? Chloe? Haha. <laughs> Erect Chloe. Cyclist Chloe. You do look you look pretty fit. I can believe it. Starts off with a Lugia, which doesn't do me any favors. What's Lugia got? Probably Arrow Blast. Worst case scenario. Zen Headbutt or Psychic. Probably not Ancient Power, probably not an Ice-type move. Um, we're gonna hit- ooh, Hydro Pump. Wasn't expecting Hydro Pump. Um, uh, but we resist, so this shouldn't do too much. Very nice. See how much this does. Not a crazy amount either. Tempted to see how much Dragon Breath does. We live a crit, so I'm not super worried about this. I don't think we leave a crit at this point. And we're slower, so I'll probably heal up next turn. Let's see how much this does. That was a crit. And we para. Okay, that's not bad. Um, so, if anything, now we can flinch with bite on our next turn. Go ahead and uh, use milk instead. Okay, he's got recover. Not the worst thing in the world. Uh, but now he can get flinches off. He's gonna spam recover for a while. Um, so I'm gonna kind of speed up through this. So Hydro Pump's gonna do more now. He's got the rain up. I think we got the flinch, and we're good. Okay. That's probably our best bet was to stick with Star Screen. Um, again, we resist. So I'm gonna stick with it. I didn't have any stat drops, but I do want to go ahead and use a super potion. I don't have any more. Nah, what's Eliminate do? 80? Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and use it. Because um, Rain is still up. Uses Aqua Ring, which is not bad. Double edge, uh, we're not physically bulky and we don't resist, so... Okay, it's not stabbed, didn't do too much. Rain is over. Um... I'm gonna try to get the para off Dragon Breath. Um... We should still be able to... win this battle. Uh, but I feel if I... If I ever feel like I'm in danger, I'll switch to... Uh, who do I switch to here? Probably just go with candy. Why did it heal so much? Was that just Aqua Ring? Guess so. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and switch just because I'm not out damaging Aqua Ring at all. Yeah, we still eat those. Strength KOs here. Oh, it doesn't. Okay. Another rain went up. Restore. Go ahead and get this Pokemon out of the way. Yeah. Rain is up. As the Empoleon, so this is a water or rain related team, very much so. Uh, what does Empoleon have for me? Not worried about... Uh, water in the rain is kind of scary, but we do have Hammer Arm. I think we live one hit of anything it throws out. Is this his last Pokemon? Well, he has three. That is crazy. Okay, I think we live one of whatever. So his ace was that Azumarill. It was level 45. Oh man, we Oko. Excellent. What a good turn. Alright. 
with that guys we get our six gym badge so we're gonna go ahead and add that to the layout let's see what tm we get tm 91 uh, what are you thinking blizzard okay who can learn blizzard that would be very helpful i think good special attacker with blizzard um, that's actually not a bad option, I don't think. What if we forget? Heal block? I mean, recovery is annoying, but I think with slacking, we can kind of negate, like, recover or synthesis. Blizzard would help with a lot of things, like... Especially dragon types, which I don't want to use Star Scream against a dragon type pretty much ever. Okay, not bad. 70% accurate, which isn't the best. Um, do I have an item to help with accuracy? Let me get through here. Scopelands is crit. At the top, just then. I don't think I have the is it zoom lens. Oh, wait. Okay, let's do that. I've got rain to boost water type moves, so I think the zoom lens will help with Blizzard. And I think Mud Bomb is not exactly 100% accurate either. Yeah, 85 and 70, I think this will really help. And so, if we can get like Earth Power, that'll be cool. Um, with that, I'm gonna go ahead and heal. We can end off this episode in the Pokemon Center. Uh, actually, he's going to call us to the library. So, I'm going to go ahead and end off right here, guys. Uh, if you enjoyed this episode, make sure to hit the like button. Not punch the mic in the face. Uh, subscribe if you guys are new. I do hope you're enjoying this series. It is getting near the end. We've got six badges, but we've got a, a long trek ahead of us to get the legendary and all that. So... It'd be a good time. Okay, had to make sure we got it saved. But with that, guys, I will see you guys in the next one.